Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going back onto the Man uh, Manchester United career of mode. And if you guys didn't see the last video, this is our squad. Got Haaland, we've got all these big players. Um, Ronaldo is on the bench. So this is our team. With honestly, everyone's doing good. The bench is decent. And I was really going down in rating. It was 90 rated and now it's 87. Um um Nexon's doing fine. Um, or doing Mason. George, for some reason Lindelof is not doing as good. Same with Harry Maguire, and he hasn't been doing too good because he is literally just a straight youngster. He's not even a real player as well, but we need for him to be stronger. And also, um, Dab De Gea is gone because I forgot to re-sign his contract. So we can get De Gea back, or we can go for a different goalie. And I'm honestly looking for a different goalie because. In the other day, was getting kind of old, and I don't mean that in a mean way. He's 37, I'm pretty sure. So, actually, now it's 38 in the current month. So, I'm just gonna search up now. Goalkeeper. Let's wait. No. Go back. Go back. Gold key plan, it's gonna I want it to be in the Premier League, so go back. I want it to be a Premier League goalkeeper. We have Allison right there. Some reason apparently Sheffield is goalkeeper in Sheffield United is in Premier League. I think in in the Korean mode, Sheffield United is in the Premier League. I know they're not in real life though. Uh, West Ham seems to have a lot of goalkeepers, but I don't want any of them. We could get Edison, but I'm not going. Um, actually, that'll be an option, so I'll put him in the sh um the thingy, the transfer hub. Um, but let's still see if there's anyone out. Lutez is. Actually, a really cheap option. Um, he's getting kind of old, but he will still be fine for a good bit of time. And he's a cheap option, and he's still good. You could do Mendy, but I'm not going to. Um, Pigford is a good option, but I'm not going to. Pope is actually a good option. I'm actually going to put you in the short term list. Alright, so that's basically all of the goal, um, all of the goalkeepers what we could possibly use. So let's go to the transfer hub. Then Jenko, why are you still here? I don't, I don't even want you. Uh, you need to be removed. So Edison, we're looking around 103 million to 128 million to get Edison. Um, the rest, um, basically six, six million five hundred and Pope's market value is 12,000 I mean 12 million so I could honestly give them 15 million and I'll be able to get Pope and honestly I'm going to try and get Pope because I think he's the cheapest and best option that is not the cheapest uh, one there but I think he is the best one there to get what is also cheap as well so let's just offer them 15 million they want my center back Lindelof and honestly they can actually have him they don't even want money I'm just giving him 8 mil player for 12 mil player but still that is still not even that bad because Lindelof is playing terrible right now so that is completely fine Scott negotiate yeah it can be important Three years, yeah, except. 
Honestly, Nick Pope was, I think, might have been the best option to do. Because he's just really cheap and he's really good. And look, look at that, we already got him. So we just got Pope now. That is. Oh, it's honestly amazing. This won't be an A, yeah, because I paid like an extra 8 million. So, yeah, honestly, we could. We could get a spare one, a spare goalkeeper. Alright, so Nick Pope is there. Actually, what? Nick Pope, do what we are actually gonna get Lindor. Nick Pope is gonna be a spare. Only because. Um, I always have spare goalkeepers because. I am. My goalkeepers are always so unlucky, I swear down. I am. Um, it. This never happens on camera. But off camera, yeah. I. I will play, a, like, a little full career mode, yeah? My goalkeeper will get a red card. Swear down. Like, what the flip? What did he do? Did he flip in, like, punch someone in the face? Or what, bro? Because they will always get... They will always get a red card. And it's annoying. It's really, it's really annoying. So, I'm gonna get... I'm actually gonna put Loris... Um, as my main goalkeeper, Nick Pope is going to be my spare. I met you crucial, Ben. Actually, we'll need you for the spring. Um, I don't really care about release because it's like 5 mil. Honestly, that's fine for me. Boom, alright. We just got another goalkeeper. So we just got two goalkeepers and Yep, no we're good. Five mil for a decent goalkeeper. Fair. We can actually now get rid of Edison. Edison is actually night rate, but we do not need him. So let's go here, team management. Right, and Boom Henderson is out of here. Now we've got Loris on um on the bit, so we will be fine. You know what? This might be I kinda wanna play I really want to play Ronaldo because he's just amazing and he's just he's just good. But he's I think Harlem would be better. See, so yeah, I'm just gonna actually just leave that there. Spare centre back now that we just got rid of a centre back and Harry Maguire is doing terrible. So let's get a centre back. Could get Van Dijk. We could, ju we could just straight up go for Van Dyke if, if, if you want, guys. Virgil Van Dyke. Also, I'm getting Virgil Van Dyke on the because he's my favorite ace centre back in the world. My favorite one, also because he's from Liverpool. And Van Dyke is honestly just a beast as well. So let's approach and buy him. We can offer Harry Maguire because it's not that um, it's not even that I just need another one. It's that 
um, I need a substitute one, one foot stops, and also, um, I might actually make him a main. He's worth six mil, so twenty mil, so I'll give him fifty. That's fair. I'm gonna eat it. I'm gonna count that. I'll put ten. We're down to sixty. Stopping at eighty mil. Boom. Just got Virgil Van Dijk, and now we are broke. Well, we're gonna need to negotiate, and then we're gonna be broke. But we already are broke. But yeah, I've spent a lot of money these past episodes, but it's gonna be worth it because I believe what well, I think we're gonna win this season right now. Well, maybe not right now, but you know what I mean. I think we're gonna be able to win the season and just be good. That no, that's the wrong one. And um, we just got Van Dyke. Alright, boom. Alright, there is no more buying players. We don't need any more players right now. Honestly, we are set on players. We are set on everything. We've just got Van Dyke. And, yeah. This guy is also a monster. This guy is literally... If you're... Bro, if you're playing football, yeah? And this guy is chasing you. And he barely bumps into you. He's, he's a flipping tank. Yeah? You're getting chopped out of... To flip in Africa, right? If you don't like, this, you're gone. You're actually dead if you get bumped by this guy. You're just dead. Uh, Virgil, like, if you you, you don't want to be versing against Liverpool Van Dijk. Um, we've got two left backs from the like the research so I'll put them there. Put more tuners, and I'm actually gonna switch them around. Alright, so let's just do the deployment plans for the two goalkeepers and Van Dyke, and we'll be good. Honestly, we are. I think we are gonna win this win this season because we're doing amazing, and if we win the season, um, we will be ending the career mode because I. Um, we have three seasons to try and beat the Camaro mode because I I don't think I didn't think we could do it on the first season and we didn't. So it goes to say um, next career mode. I'm thinking about doing Juventus next or maybe Man City. I don't know. Just gonna do that. <laughs> Even higher physical, but this guy is literally a truck. Alright, I think we are going to be ready. We only have 7 million now, but hey, we'll be fine. I'm actually going to, I actually want to play this first game. Well, it's not a first game, but first game in this episode. Honestly, I think we should start winning way more games since that now we've got better defense we've got like look at this squad we've got Alfonso Davis, Varan, Van Dijk, Walker, Rashford, Bellingham, Casemiro, Sancho, um, um, Bruno Fernandes and Haaland and Bruno Fernandes is captain since that um, the hay is gone and to be fair Bruno Fernandes does deserve it so I'm gonna let him keep it. I'm not gonna take it off him. So Bruno Fernandez has actually been playing really well as well. So that's fine. The fans have waited and wondered, would it happen? Now it has happened. Now, it's all about his debut. Sussex by the sea, always an inviting prospect. Welcome everyone to the Amex Stadium. Right. I'm Derek Ray, yeah, and adjacent you. to me in the commentary box is Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. Down. It's Brighton versus Manchester United. 
Well, that was a good result on match day one oh, for United. Wait. Now oh, can they take it a step night, further today really and really just good. increase their levels of creativity? This should be a very interesting match. Middle. Yes, Belgium. Well, Manchester Just United have right. chosen this particular shape. I think Hugo this team as posts. well. The, the, um, the, a chance um, here. It is so weird because oh, he's the most people do like, the you well, know, that would have been a great start to the game, and they but that's a bad miss. Yeah, you, know, you can't do that anymore. That like. Uh, the skilling in this game is different. So, I feel like not many, not many people really What do you expect on this occasion, Stuart? Well, that right one all draw at home wasn't really the result they wanted. Today, well, though, if they it dominate the midfield benefit, area, as they should do, I think they'll win this game. It's kind of just annoying. As clean as a whistle, that challenge. Like, last bit stone is fun, but it's like when people do it to you as well, it's just annoying. But it's it's also it's also it's imagine about what you're left with. Oh, that's a fine save. But basically, it's well, kind of good now. Chances, so they need to make the most of this. it's good for us. But it's good for the bulky players as well in the and game. Because if you're too, to like, defensive if you're a big guy, let's say like Haaland or Ronaldo, you couldn't really left it score other than like Messi, Neymar, and Will he play it in? You know, they were basically the best of us. Clearing the lines, and so it will in. be a corner now. Belencombe. Over it um, comes. So, it comes to now that they're nothing. gone, and we're just doing normal skills, and some of the bigger players, like, again, Ronaldo, um, it's like Harland Can and he all finish? that, they kind Simple of left really. So it's really good for them. I think the best card in, in the FIFA right now is also like Ronaldo as well. And inches away. Um, for some Didn't reason, this card is like a slide at alone. Um, I'd alone on this card, and this card is actually the track. I don't, honestly, well, I don't what he know to do with the pass. how. I'm just card? hearing a goal has gone because, in in the Arsenal um, game. Now that let's let's hear all about gone. it from he Alex. Yeah, it's a goal for Arsenal. Like, it was a long driven cross, and he was never going to miss from there. It's now one 0 with 34 minutes on the clock. Not Alex though. keeping us right up to date. Down and lose the Fernandez. Fernandez has eyes for goal, and the keeper more than equal to the task. And Manchester United so might be time. able to profit here. Corner it is. Just a matter of thumping it away. Top class defending. Oh, and teammates Kismero. around him. Kismero to Bruno. Kismero. Well, oh. Nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Oh, wait. wait. No, we're still in it before half time. Oh, there will be one minute added on at right, the end. It's going to be United's free kick. Virgil to Bruno, oh, but then he gets fouled. And, oh, and there it is, the half time whistle. You the almost first got it. Is over. So the two teams have switched around, and the second half is underway. Perfect challenge. Bruno. Bruno to Harlem. This attack looks and highly promising. Uh, Can they forge it, ahead? Oh. What they would have done had it not been for the keeper. Well, they should be ahead now. Yes, it was a good save, Derek, but he should score from there. And on a corner like that, every goalkeeper's has really. has got a body, bro. Right, I'm going to quickly throw it over to Alex because I believe there's been a goal at the Vitality Stadium. Yes, it's a goal for Chelsea. It's now 1-0 with 50 minutes played. Many thanks as ever, Alex. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Run. Well, there's been so much talk about a potential transfer, but it's potential no more. It's a oh, big wait. chance How here, Derek. Bruno, for? Br Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes! The opening goal in this contest. I 
And that might actually be the winning goal. Well, just look how exposed the keeper is. He's got absolutely no chance there, but they do take it well, you have to say. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Uriel Antuna. A very timely interception. Can he find the right pass? Middleton is actually good. A sloppy pass. Oh. Right, I believe something has changed at the Emirates. Let's hear all about it from Alex. It's oh, Alex, sorry oh, to interject, but a big chance here. That's a great stop. Well, his reflexes are so good there. That's a fantastic stop. And time for the change now. That was way too far. Did this guy really... This guy really tried and failed. And you know why he failed? Oh, well, Davis failed. Yeah, first of all, you're kneeing this guy in the back of the neck. Second of all, you're 50 billion years... You're 50 billion years away, yeah? And you just kick this guy right in the head. <sighs> that guy's got a concussion after that. And you barely hit it, and you're just laying on the floor like, oh wait, what happened? Like, you, you was just over here talking to this guy, then you see the ball, you start running, you get, you're in front of him, then he gets in front of you, you just jump, knee him in the face, and kick him, and then just fall on your flipping, and then you fall on your flipping face. Good work to win it back high up the pitch. Okay, oh, managing to beat him. Oh, oh, it. Oh. And they couldn't add to their advantage. Well, that would have put them in complete control. He should have scored there. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Well, as you'll have noticed, we had to cut Alex a bit short just then. To clarify, oh. Arsenal have scored oh. in that game. And the lead at the moment is 2-0. Careless in possession. Do Don't forget we have more live action from the Premier League coming up here on EA TV. It's Manchester United facing Bournemouth. Well, do they have it in them to level this? Boom! Well, didn't go to plan in the end. Well, for United, it's almost a case of job done. Not quite yet, officially speaking. Nope. Stuart, what have you made of the performance today? Well, it's going to be a nervy end to this game. But if they do hold on, I think they've deserved their win. They've played really well and they've played some good attacking football. And in general, they've controlled the game. Here it is now. Van Dijk! Oh, about to say Van Dijk is coming. Firing it towards goal. What no! Excitement. And the match is level. We need a score like that. Right again now. here on the back of that leveller. And the electronic board delivers the news. Two minutes. A real opening. Oh, now. no, they score. They score. Wait. Come on, Baran. Come on. Get through quick. Get through quick. Manchester United on the front oh, foot come on. in the oh, closing come on. moments. Oh, come Can on. they find a winner? Oh! oh! The last, the, the last minute, the last minute, the last second, the last minute. Well, the just look how he holds off the defender. Second. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. And there goes exactly. the final whistle. Manchester United are the winners today. Anyway, what did you think of their performance also? I, I honestly, I thought I was gonna miss because I just like I got close enough, as close as I could get. Boot, I just booted the ball. Yeah, it went somewhere. I thought, oh no, nah, it's gonna hit the post. Hits the post, but it also goes in.
time for a couple of questions? Pope. Oh. Wait. What do you? How? How does that make you unhappy? Pick my right. Virgil van Dijk, honestly, abuse. No further questions, thanks. I'm in second. How much longer for this season? Yes. Yeah, and Sheffield Wednesday United is in um, the Premier League. They're not in real life, but um, um, they are in this career mode. Transfer windows only be open for a little bit of time. I was, um, I was about to say, if you buy a few play, but I just, then I just remembered that we're poor right now. We should win this match. I'm just gonna. And we lose. Alfonso Davies scored and Harlan scored. Kelly, Tony, and this. What? Three. I'm I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that. Um scored somehow we lost But yeah, should we should have won that. So in my inbox. Guys, okay, so we sim another whole season. Well, not a whole season, but like the rest of this season. Nah, nah, we won't do the rest. You know what? I'm gonna sim a good bit though. I think that's like three months. I just kept pressing random buttons, going back and forward. It's two months. Win. I would call Madrid. We should win. Draw. Kind of makes sense. Burnley is not in Premier League, but we still win. Let's not. We should win this. Yeah, we win. I mean, a bunch of matches, um, we only draw one this whole entire month, well, yeah, I just don't know that one, but I'm just going to hope that we won. Oh, no, it is three months, come on. Every one this month. And I'm just gonna assume that we won that one because we've already won them once, so. We've won them like a bit, yeah, so a third month, yeah. Alright, I simmed up to Liverpool. So Liverpool are probably gonna lose unless I play the match, but I'm not. I'm just gonna quick sim and hope for the best. We lost against. Maybe we'll just hide that day. I don't know. Forest, we should win. We should. 
and they come Madrid we should win or it should be a draw but I think we should win that one Manchester City we should probably win now that they don't have Haaland or KDB we draw and Liverpool if we draw against Manchester City we're probably going to lose against the local and that's Thank you all for joining us. We'll start the questions now. Okay, guys, we are out of time. Are these 92 rated? Damn! Harlem must be playing good. He must have. We won? Bruh! Rashford and Bruno coming in clutch! Yeah, Bruno definitely deserves um, the. the. The thing game now. Bro, if we come winning out of Liverpool, then we we are boss. Sure, I'll take him. They're trying to buy. That is a hundred mil. 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 Canada, no. You want Canada for offense or Davies? Right. The squad is actually amazing right now. Look at the squad. Rashford's higher rated. I think Walker's same. Bellingham's higher. Bruno Fernandez one higher. Arlen's higher. Sancho's higher. I, um, I think Davies is the same. Varan, I think he's higher. Loris is higher. Casemiro is higher. Because Casemiro is um, 18 at Brock. Squad is doing amazing. What is this right now? Are we first? We are third! We are third! Well, technically, we're first as well. Only because um, they're basically all the same because we all have 32 points. You know what? I'm gonna sim the rest of the season. Well, I'm gonna go somewhere, so I'm just gonna hope that we win. Oh my days, there's a lot of months left, so I'm gonna put it there. Alright, see you guys. I am back. Yo, hold up! We lose against West Ham. Draw it. Oh my days! Hopefully, we, we, we won a lot of games before this month. Oh my days! Nah, no way. We trying to get some leads, bro. We're on 
like, bro, it's, alright, so it's 2024, so we've gone up in the year, so the season's not ended yet. I'm already thinking about the next FIFA. You guys ever think that? When a new FIFA comes out, I mean, you just think about, ooh, what's gonna be the next FIFA? What's gonna be the new thing? FIFA's been out for 23 years. It's, it's been out for a while. I've gotta give a round, I've got a clap, bro. Knowing that FIFA's been out for 23 years, it just makes me wanna clap. Whoever made people must be like 50, no offense. I'm just saying that, I'm just saying that. You've been, all right, let's say that you made a game like 27 years old. No, let's even say 20. Yeah, you make, like you can't make a game below like 16. I don't think, well you probably could, but they're probably older than 16. So, you, you've made 23 FIFAs for 23 years. And, you probably started when you were 20, so you're probably like 50 or like 47. Maybe even older. Did I just... I just got relegated. Now we're at Sheffield United, bro. Well, I guess that's the end of the... I guess that's the end. I didn't think it would end like this. I didn't think this would happen. A warm welcome to like, bro, you all. This is actually... This has never happened. Never, ever happened. What's my team saying? Yeah, I ain't playing with this team. Nah, bro. Yeah, well... End of the video. I don't know. Like, I didn't think this would happen. No. Alright, well, I guess it's the end of the career mode on episode 6. Alright, so make sure you guys subscribe, do like, post notification, and I'll see you in the next video.